Welcome to an exclusive skill capped guide for BFA patch 8.3. Throughout the final season of BFA, we'll be releasing select guides from our site here on YouTube. If you're interested in seeing more new content like this every week, alongside our exclusive matchup review series in which we cover in detail exactly how to win the hardest and most popular matchups, head over to skillcap.com. Hello everyone, Joe Fernandez here, and I'll be going through the four main ways to counter Resto Shamans in the arena. Resto Shamans may not be the most popular healer, but if you don't play correctly against them, they could play with you and end up winning the games easily if you don't know how to counter them. It probably comes to no surprise for most players, but in general, you want to avoid training a Resto Shaman. The reason for this is that Shamans typically play with 3 pack spirit traits, as well as other potential Ghost Wolf talents that can make them incredibly durable during their Ghost Wolf form. So training them in most cases will just force them in Ghost Wolf, allowing them to sit it with ease, keeping themselves topped at the cost of zero mana. This is incredibly powerful for dealing with your pressure in terms of mana and overall survival. Although some compositions or cases can cause you to tunnel down the Shaman. One way is by having high burst damage in order to go through their pack spirit healing. This could force the Shaman having to trade his own defensive cooldowns in order to survive the burst pressure and stay in Ghost Wolf at the same time. That way you can reliably get cooldowns or force the Shaman to get out of Ghost Wolf and cast heals if he's unable to Ghost Wolf the pressure. Training them or having heavy pressure whilst you can purge the Ghost Wolf off would also be a viable strategy to slaying Resto Shamans. Purging of Ghost Wolf form will immediately stop the Ghost Wolf healing as well as get rid of any Spirit Wolf traits. This means they are much more vulnerable during burst windows and could be taken down swiftly if coordinated well. If unable to do these two, then if you want to make swaps to Resto Shamans, your best bet is to make sure you stun them outside of Ghost Wolf so you can deal big damage to them as well as deny their pack spirit healing during your stun. This can be tricky to deal with in general though, which is why we suggest to not train the Resto Shaman, which brings us onto our second way to counter Resto Shaman, training the DPS and disrupting the Shaman instead. Shamans struggle with healing split pressure a lot, so if they aren't free casting too much, you'll be able to create a lot of pressure against Shaman comps. Going on the DPS and crowd controlling shamans with what control you have will be able to put them further behind on keeping their team alive. To further make them struggle, shamans will need to cast heals when there's heavy pressure on their DPS. If you stop them from getting heals off, then you will most likely force big defensive cooldowns. Getting chain crowd controls like this with heavy pressure on the DPS can force the massive defensive cooldowns from the rest of shaman. Since their biggest defensive cooldowns are 3 minutes long, this means that not having it for quite some time can make their team extremely vulnerable, allowing you to have opportunities to take them down before these big defensive cooldowns come back. Speaking of other defensive cooldowns, Earthen Wall Totem is another solid one on a low cooldown. However, enemy players can play around Earthen Wall Totem to counter Resto Shamans. Earthen Wall Totem is a solid ability that can diffuse a lot of pressure. However, there are two big ways that you can play around this. You can either kite out of it or knock players out of it. Kiting out of it is something nearly every class can do. Simply positioning or using mobility to get away from the Earthen Wall Totem could make it troublesome for the players in the Earthen Wall Totem, especially for melee. Kiting like this mage shows here will either force the melee to stay in the totem, making it beneficial, but would lose uptime on the mage. So instead they follow the mage, which will make Earthen Wall Totem useless, not reducing the pressure at all, which the shaman will have to heal back up instead. As for knocking them, this comes down to having certain abilities that you could spec into or have with your class, which can solely be used to knock enemy players out of the Earthen Wall Totem to also negate its absorption effect. Saving these for the totem and knocking it during troublesome times will make it more difficult for the rest of Shaman to keep his team alive. Another powerful defensive cooldown that you want to deal with is the Ascendance. During Ascendance, the Resto Shaman can easily top his team if they're allowed to free cast, even in later stages of dampening, making it one of their best defensive cooldowns. We can see here, whilst Lonta's team is in trouble, by simply popping his Ascendance, the heal helps all members of his teams as well. He then lands one chain heal, which was enough to top both of his teammates' health pools. Naturally, the best way to stop Ascendance is by interrupting casts or crowd controlling the Shaman during this cooldown. 
That way, you can force Ascendants like this Windwalker DK team does here, but look to negate any casted heals during the Ascendants, making it much more lackluster in terms of healing throughput, as we see here. That concludes this guide on the 4 best ways to counter arrest a Shaman in the arenas. Hope this guide helped, and if you have more questions about this guide, feel free to ask your questions down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next video.